Now behind me here is a very, very famous London railway station. If you've been to London, you'll know it instantly, of course. It's the very beautifully architectural London's Victoria Station. Been up now over a hundred plus years. And as you can imagine, so many journeys have started and ended here as well. Lots of films were filmed at Victoria Station also because it had a very much atmospherical era about it, particularly in the 1950s and 60s for those B movies that we all enjoy, you know, the free ones on YouTube. Now, the reason why I wanted to highlight this particular station to you really is this. If you are coming to London or the United Kingdom and you fancy a day trip to the very splendid Georgian resorts of either Worthing, Eastbourne or the particular favourite, Brighton, which all start from London's Victoria, you may simply want to think again. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. I know it's lovely, isn't it? That period where you're going on holiday or you're just having a few days away and that worrying thing when you're wheeling your bag down, you think, I did pack everything, didn't I? The cod liver oil tablets. I know it's all the things, isn't it? You think I definitely put those in the bag. Of course you did, but then you unpack it and everybody sees everything that you don't want them to see. I know we're just like each other really, aren't we? In the end, you know what it's like. But on a serious note, you know, when you go to somewhere like Brighton or Eastbourne, even for a day trip, it's invigorating, isn't it? You get to see the sea air, the beautiful flowers, sitting on a bench, just looking out to sea and daydreaming. But it comes at a cost. And now they've been accused, I must point this out, of the green issue, the climate people, that quite frankly, it's almost becoming impossible to visit quite literally for the day. As ever, let me explain. You see, in Brighton, the Green Party's war on cars has quite literally backfired on tourists. Now, to park for an hour, it's £5.60. Two hours, £9.30. Four hours, £15.70. And for a full day, £22.70 plus. Now, that's a lot of money, I'm sure you'll agree. What's happened is this. It's resulted in a 1.2 million fall in car park revenue. But not only that, local businesses are losing out too. Of course, the Green Brigade would say, well, simply do this. Grab a train, come from Victoria, don't bring the car at all. But what if you do really just want to travel down? You see, Brighton's just over an hour away by driving and more economical than taking the train in many respects, as we've seen those ticket prices shoot up and up. But it's the younger generation, you see. They're pushing ahead, basically saying we shouldn't be using the cars. But the bigger problem with the climate brigade, and it's quite simply this, it's double standards. You see, over here recently, we had the television presenter, Holly Willoughby, yes, <laughs> the infamous Holly. She was telling a magazine that her children are very concerned about the climate and the future. This was the same Holly that weekend that decided to take a private helicopter to go and visit for 48 hours and back, I might point out, to the Glastonbury Festival. So you see, while the climate activists want to tell you one thing, you literally are supposed to schlep it down, maybe even on roller skates to just save the planet. All the while, they're continuing to go, exactly, private and exclusive the way they want. What's interesting here is though, the Green Party could find exactly just how much more money they're going to lose, not just in custom, but in revenue, starting at 1.4 million so far. Neil Sean, Victoria Station, in the very heart of London.